In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade features on the gate.io exchange. Okay. And the reason why I'm choosing this exchange is because right now, as it stands, okay, you can trade features, you can trade spot, you can trade ETF on the exchange with zero fee. There are a lot of fees that features trader because of leverage trading do pay when they are trading. So right now, gate.io is offering all of this trading with zero fee so you can trade on the exchange whether you want to trade spot with zero fee whether you want to trade etf with zero fee whether you want to trade features all of this comes with zero fee and they will, this will help you save more money for yourself so everything i'm going to be doing here will be with the web version so um if you can you can equally do this with the mobile app um on your phone the gate.io app on your on your phone okay um so i'm going to do everything here demonstrate everything here using the web version so to be able to assess the gate.io um derivative trading all you just need to do is to come in here to where it says derivatives and then on the derivatives the focus my focus is always perpetual contract okay so um hover over perpetual contract and you can click on the usdt and features because what we are trading is usdt so i just go ahead and click on the usdt and features And once I click that, it brings us to the Fisher's trading interface. So I'll just walk you step by step on how everything here works. Then we can take it further from there. So here, um, this is where you select the pairs you want to trade. Okay. Right now I have um, Dodge USDT selected here. By default, yours will be in, in, in BTC, BTC USDT. So you can go ahead and select any of the pairs you want to trade. And for them to show up as you're seeing here right now, yeah, these are um, the shortcuts. Okay, these are all my favorite tokens. So if, if to, for me to be able to assess this directly without going back here to search for it, all you need to do is to select that. For instance, if I select the ETH um, USDT, once I select it, you see it popping up here. So it means that if I want to trade ETH, I can just switch to it. If I want to go to Dodge, I'll just switch to it. If I want to go back to BTC, I'll just switch to it. That way you don't need to stress yourself looking for all of this. And in that I can do a different setup. If I'm going to use the gate.io um, chart here, I can do a different setup for this pair because it is open. I can do a different setup, use a different indicator for this pair because it is open. I can do for this differently and I'll start using them that way. So um, after selecting your pair, the next thing is to select the margin mode you want to trade. If you want to trade um, on isolated mode, you need to come in here and change to isolated, then select the leverage. So currently on gate.io, the highest leverage right now is 20x leverage. So whether you're trading on cross margin mode or isolated margin mode, the highest leverage you can go right now is 20x leverage. So it's just 20x, which make it um, safer for you. Okay. So uh, after selecting your leverage, then these are all the statistics of that particular coin you're looking at. In this case, Dogecoin, these are the statistics. Um, the high when it opens, the price at which it opens, the high, the the lows in the last 24 hours, and so on. You see all of those details here. Then this is the embedded chart with the gate.io. This is the chart, and it is the trading view chart, which means you can use all of these drawing tools by the left here. So then this is your other book. This is where we are going to be taking our trade. This is our panel. This is the panel where we'll be taking all of our trades. And whenever we open a trade, whether um, um, the ones that are currently in position, you'll see them here. The uh, ones that are the history of our trade, you'll see them here. And all of the, here, this panel here is where you see all of the history, both the present, the past history of your trades. you see all of that here. So after setting up your trade, let's say you selected your leverage and the rest. The next thing you want to do is to transfer funds into your official trading account. To be able to transfer funds into your gate.io official trading account, all you just need to do is here on the interface, this is our trading panel. This is where we'll be carrying out all of our trade. You want to come in here and then um, you see the option to transfer funds into your account here. I already have some funds here, but if you don't have already, then all you need to do is to click on this two arrow. Okay. Once you do this, you want to transfer from your spot account to your officials account. This will automatically be selected for you. So if you have the funds in your, the, it means that the funds must be in your officials account because there is no option to change from which account it is to any other account. So the 
funds must be in your futures in your spot trading account then all you need to do is to add in the amount you want to transfer here um let's say i have 81 usdt here if i want to transfer all i'll go ahead and select all then click on ok if i want to transfer just one usdt for instance i can go ahead and type in that there and then click on ok so once i click ok you see that it says transfer success and then you see that the funds is equally uh, reflecting here right so if you just sign off an account if you don't have a gate.ir account already link will be in the video description to sign off an account now when you sign off an account the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you you know deposit some funds into your account so to do that you want to come in here to wallet where it says classic account click on it and then on the spot account you go ahead and open this let me open that in a new tab once you open it you go ahead and make deposit into that spot account then you can come back here and transfer the funds so once you're you opened up the wallet this way you want to go to deposit once you go to deposit you use the on-chain deposit to deposit funds into your if i just click on deposit let me just show you that into your gate.io account so here um you select the coin you want to deposit usdt is selected already if not you just click to select the coin you want to deposit and then select the network so when you are depositing usdt always use the throne trc20 because the transfer fees are very low then you can copy this address this is the address you are going to copy and take it to wherever wallet or let's change you want to transfer the funds to and send those funds to this address in this case whenever you send the usdt you will receive them here then after that you can now come back to the gate.io and do your you know transfer from one wallet to another all right so after selecting the leverage we are going to be trading with let me go ahead and use 5x leverage because it is always good to use a lower leverage so that you don't get taken out of the market okay uh, very fast so i want to use 5x leverage and we're going to be trading dodge normally my um, analysis i do them on trading view so when i see an option to do that on trading view i come in here to use that to you know do take trades you use that to take trades so this is what trading view look like and you can go ahead and use um, this indicator um this is uh, some of the one of the indicator that i use this one if you're a beginner you just use it to you know look for buys and sell signals and i use this on the one hour time frame so whenever you come in here you want to go to your trading view and add this pivot point super trend okay so when you go ahead and add this into your chart just go ahead and add it up and what you'll be looking for looking at for is to use it to take a buy and sell signal okay whenever you see a buy signal you can set alerts for this if you don't know how to do all of this i have a step-by-step -step video guide that works on how to use trading view you check the link in the video description okay so whenever you get an alert to either buy or sell all you just need to do is to come in here come back to the gate.io exchange um by coming here so you can either use limit this is these are all the market orders we have here so you can use limit you can use market order or you can use other option that gate.io have here for you so limit and market are the ones you'll be using the most if you're a, a trader so for limit you set a price to either long or short the market above the current price or below the current price then for market order you are entering with the best market order so if i enter right now and the current market price is this and the current market price is this once i use market order i could enter at this exact amount below it or above it all depends on how fast the market move when i'm entering the trade so after that um you can use this slider here to either determine the amount of money you want to use if i want to use 100 percent of my funds i can just go ahead and slide this a to the end and then it to use 100 percent of the funds i have here if i want to use 50 percent of that i can slide this here to use 50 percent of the funds i have if i want to use any percentage i use i can go ahead and slide that now the more i slide this the more it gives you the number this is the quantity or the size of the dogecoin we are going to buy whether i want to buy or want to um, long or we are selling or shorting so this is the quantity you'll be selling now this quantity is according to the number of leverage we are having because ordinarily um if we're buying for this 100 usdt we have here it will not be up to this okay but this is multiplied based on the size of the leverage that i have here now if i increase the leverage to let's say 10x leverage and confirm this 
and I go ahead and use 100% of my funds, you see that the size of the funds we are trading, okay, the size of the Dogecoin will be either buying or selling will now be more, okay? So if I make it 20x leverage, the more of the Doge that we are going to buy. Now, the more we buy or sell, the more profit we stand to make and equally, the quicker we get to lose our account, all right? So just make sure that you are very careful. Um, if you're a beginner, just always use 5x leverage. Anything between, you know, 3 to 5x leverage, always use that, okay? Then if your account size is bigger, then you can increase your leverage. But with Get.io, the highest you can go when it comes to leverage is just 20x leverage. So if I see an opportunity to buy or short the market, all I just need to do is to buy long or sell short. Whichever position I do, once I click on it, you'll see the position opening up here. So let's say I go ahead and um, let me just open a long position for this particular pair. I want to enter this market. Let me go with a higher time frame and see the current situation right now. Okay, so right here, it seems to be a strong support at this 836. Three, six. Let me come back to the week here. It went down to 8, 822. So if I bring this up a bit, let's go to this next support at um, 8.0. So I want to set a, um, a limit order to long this market when the price gets to this level here at 8.0. I want to long from here. So all I need to do is come back here again and then make sure you're on the limit tab. So I'll just put in the price here at 0 0.080. Then I will use 20% as usual of our account size. Then I'll go ahead and set take profit and stop loss. So the take profit will be when it gets to 0 0.090. Okay, it means that we're going to make this amount. Then I'll set stop loss because we are entering at 0 0.080. So our stop loss will put it at 0 0.0, um, should I say 6 or 7? 7, 70. Let's put it at 70. Uh, it means that we are risking equal amount that we're going to be making. So if it goes in our favor, we are making this amount. Then if it goes against us, we are losing this amount. So this is just um, <clears throat> to demonstrate this, okay? Um, you can do this. Once you are doing your risk management, you know that you always want to target two times the amount of money you are going to be making. So if that be the case, then it means that this would have been 0 0.010, okay? Would have been 0 0.10 then. I'll go ahead. So if I'm okay with it, go ahead and click on the, the buy long, okay? So I'll click on confirm and then you see that it has been successful. So to be able to view this, we come to open orders here. You see that our pending trade is here. So it will be pending. You can cancel it if you don't want it. It will be pending until when the price gets to the level. You see that it has marked that here on the chart. So everything is marked out here on the chart. So it will be pending here until when this price gets down to this level. If the price gets here, this trade will be picked. And then the take profit level and the stop loss will be automatically showing up on the chart here. Then if it goes in your favor, the trade automatically close on your behalf. So it is very basic with the Gate.io futures trading. It's not something that is difficult. If you have been trading futures already, then this is understandable. So if you're a beginner and you want to learn uh, um, with the Gate.io, there is equal, equally a test net. If I come in here to derivatives over, over perpetual, you see where it says te test net. Okay, this is what you can use to, you know, start learning how to trade features on the gate.io um, exchange. So if I come in here, you have some free money here that you can use to start trading. So you can use the testnet option and start trading, apply leverages, use them the way you want and start trading. And when you are good, then you can switch back to the live account. All right. Now, there is an ongoing um, World Cup um, competition, trading competition for all Gate.io users. You can trade sport to participate in this. You can trade features to participate in this. I've already created a team. So you can come in here and join a team by just clicking on this join a team. Okay, once you click on that, you want to type in the name of the team I created for this competition is Digital Leonard. So just type in Digital Leonard there. You see the name pops up. You can join the competition and start trading. And whatever um who becomes the winner there are a lot of incentives here for the users of this platform for nfts 
you know winning daily um there are da 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 daily raffles you can draw for and the rest so a lot of um you know money to be made via this tournament this um, food world cup competition which you two can participate in join my team and let's see how we can do this together that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you guys in the next video